What's up guys, welcome back to Among the Fence, my YouTube channel where I do music views. I am your lovely host Aaron. Today we're going to be checking out the new single Nigh to Silence by the band Era. Normally Mondays is the time when I do my weekly track reviews and I was I was doing it and I was listening to some of these tracks and then when I got to Era, I just, I could not avoid going in depth into this song. So instead I'm going to do an in-depth review on this single. For those of you who don't know, Era is a progressive metalcore band from Alabama. They started around 2009 and they currently have five studio albums. Their fifth one, which is their self-titled album, came out last year, almost about like 10 months ago, give or take. And I believe that Night of Silence is like a, a deluxe track that's going to be featured on the new vinyl pressing that they're coming out with. At least that's what it seems like. I don't think they have any plans to do like a new record for it. From what I've seen from their their merch stuff. I think that's what they're going to do for it. While the band was in quarantine, they decided to take advantage of the time and write a handful of songs. And this one just so happens to be their favorite. And it takes place on an empty earth as Jesse, who is the clean vocalist and rhythm guitar player, and I believe the main songwriter for the band, is walking in the shadow of his own ghost. And the idea is to portray absolute loneliness, which I... <laughs> pretty sure it does and the first line of the song is about being forgotten and becoming irrelevant in this art form of music and it says floating song i caught in a dream and pass it on frail and fragile is the ghost that i will carry and time will swallow so needless to say these lyrics are they're freaking insane there's a lot of thought that went into the writing of those lyrics and there's a lot of emotion and the metaphors and it hits so hard the song starts out with a beautiful guitar passage and clean vocals from Jesse. It sound very, very longing. Then the drums and the chugging guitar riff come in. JT's distorted vocals also come in and they sound so powerful. As they sit a little bit more in front of the mix, so they're a little bit more in your face at the same time. And the rhythm is very groovy with a very strong gent vibe coming from the guitar tone. And the riff, and I just wish the riff stood out a little bit more in the mix. If you're not really listening to it, basically it gets drowned out by the drums and the distorted vocals, which I mean, it's not really a bad thing either because those sound fantastic. The chorus brings Jesse's clean vocals back in as everything slows down like the eye of the storm. We also get some clean singing from JT, which is always a treat. The chorus has an amazingly colorful guitar melody that's accented by the drums and the distorted rhythm guitar, which still just keeps on chugging away. And the atmosphere and the motion in this chorus, it portrays the longingness of being forgotten so well. When I was listening to this, I kept thinking of um, Mr. Manhattan in that meme where he's like, I don't know, sitting on a rock on like the moon or Mars or something like that. And he's just all alone. That's what I kept getting when I was listening to this song. The breakdown is pretty unique in its calmness. It's like everything drops down in volume until the distorted vocals come back in. And then the music comes in full force with tons of dynamics. It's all over the place and it's very full sounding. Then the guitar part from the beginning comes back in, the little clean guitar passage. And then it's followed by the chorus melody with Jesse just singing and his clean vocals. It sounds so good. The emotion really shines through. Again, I have the storm kind of moment where everything's going crazy, especially right after the breakdown. And then everything's just calm and eerie and quiet and rather sad and melancholy at the same time. This song really shines through in its songwriting and the concept. The metaphors and the lyrics are so poetic and the vocal delivery and choices are near perfect. The fact that they stated that they wrote this song during quarantine when they didn't really have time to do anything they weren't touring or any of that really shows how hard they worked on this because there's other bands that did the same sort of thing for instance my last review i did on under oath they kind of did the same sort of thing and when you look at their lyrics it's like this is what you came up with they a lot of bands just write something down just one line and that's it it's perfect but this seems like it was written down taking the concept of being irrelevant and alone and it was revised like eight times before they came up with the first line of the song. And to me, that really shows that they put a lot of effort, not only into the lyrics, but into the music and the musical choices and the vocal choices, everything. The overall sound of this song in terms of mix and everything is pretty much perfect as well. The way the music backs down and the breakdown, how the vocals are a little bit more out in front and the verses, everything it just makes it so much more powerful when it needs to be.
And it makes those quieter moments hit just as hard as well. I just wish that the song didn't have such a genty vibe to it, specifically in the riff. But again, like I said earlier, you don't really notice it all that well because it's kind of drowned out by the drum work, which is fantastic, and the vocals again, which really are just incredible. So with all that said, I got to give Nigh to Silence by Era a 4.7 out of 5. I feel like this song would have fit perfectly on their self-titled album, but I think it's better on its own, to be completely honest, just because its message and the emotion, it just, it sticks out a lot better when it's listened to all by itself. But I want to know what you guys think. Leave a comment below letting me know what you thought of Night of Silence. If you haven't listened to it yet, I'm going to leave a link for it down in the description below. Go ahead, give it a listen, and let me know what you would rate it. And if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to give it a like. Also leave a comment below letting me know what I should review next. If you want to help support me and my channel and just make me feel good about myself, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon, especially if you leave a request because sometimes that doesn't happen and people end up missing out on the requested reviews. And a couple videos later, they go and they request the same thing when the review's already been uploaded like about a month ago. And it just makes me sad. It saves me time, saves you time and trouble to have to look for. It helps me to help you. I hope you have a good rest of your day or night, whenever you happen to be watching this, and I will talk to you guys next time. I was